has a cure for cancer finally been found? Maybe, and it may have been born right here in Israel. An Israeli team of scientists is developing an anti-cancer drug that will target several mutations in cancer cells using a combination of several cancer-directed peptides. The treatment is called Mutato, I hope I'm saying that right, or multi-objective toxin, and is essentially on the scale of a cancer antibiotic. So how does it work? I'm joined now in studio by Dr. Ilan Moad, founder and CEO of Accelerated Evolution Biotechnologies. Thank you very much, Dr. Moad, for joining Thank me you. for this and shedding more light on this extremely interesting uh, story. So first of all, how does it work? Okay, the main thing about it is multi-targeting. Most drugs today uh, that attack cancer attack one uh, target, one cancer target. And this is the cause that uh, the cancer comes back or that there's a lot of side effects. Because there's only one target, the cancer cells can very easily escape the therapy. Now, we thought, why don't we use multi-targeting? So instead of tar uh, targeting one target at a time, why don't we use three or, or more? Now, when we do that, first the cancer can, can't uh, escape the, the therapy. And the, the best uh, example is AIDS. When they used long time ago to give one drug at a time, it used to work, and then the virus mutated, and then the, the, the illness uh, came back. Now, when they started giving the cocktail, it stopped. Now, most of you can uh, uh, remember uh, 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 this uh, basketball player, uh, Johnson, that he was an AIDS uh, patient, and he started getting the cocktail like 25 years ago, and he still lives and is okay. Now, all AIDS patients, actually, you can't uh, call them patients because they're only um, uh, carriers. Now, they live happily, and uh, as long as they take the cocktail, they're okay. If they stop taking the cocktail, they would get uh, sick. Now, the same strategy goes with cancer. If we do uh, multiple targeting, the cancer won't be able to mutate in such a way, uh, triple mutation uh, simultaneously. So, the cancer won't be able to come back. So this. <laughs> In terms of testing, do you feel secure that this uh, drug will in fact work on humans? Yeah, we test, uh, we made this uh, many experiments on uh, human cancer cells and it looks uh, promising. And another thing is that because of this uh, uh, multiple targeting, it's more specific to the cancer cells. Therefore, we would have much less side effects. So it cures the cancer and prevents cells from becoming cancerous once again? Yeah. And this is, the treatment would be um, um, patient-friendly, let's say, like an antibiotic. And you would get cancer, we would analyze your cancer, give you exactly uh, the, the combination that fits your cancer, and then after a while you'd be free of cancer without any uh, suffering. And the reason, of course, this is exciting is the entire world, the, the global uh, medical community has been searching for a real cure for cancer for God knows how many uh, years. How is the international community responding? Is there support or skepticism o over whether or not this actually works? Okay, so far we, we show this uh, concept on several uh, conferences and we get uh, great uh, comments. Nobody had anything bad to say uh, about it. And we talked to uh, several uh, big farmers, and they all were enthusiastic. So all we have to, to do is now get more and more peptides towards cancer cells to cover all kinds of cancers. Again, it's not one drug to all cancer. Each patient will get his own uh, specific drug, which uh, contains combination of uh, uh, targeting peptides that would kill his specific cancer. This is what's uh, so great about it, because it's specific, and because it's specific, uh, the patient won't suffer from side effects or major side effects and the cancer won't be able to, to come back because it's fitted com uh, exactly his cancer. You know, Dr. Murad, one of our reporters here, uh, Ariel Levin Waldman, has been following the story. He spoke with the Ashiba Medical Center, I believe, and they were skeptical over whether or not mm. this could work. Can you tell us what the next stage for you is, how to address that skepticism and when this might be available for patients? Okay, to, to address this skepticism, we just have to do it. Just to get uh, to advance towards the clinical trials and show that it cures people. So until we do that, uh, you can't, uh, you can't avoid this uh, criticism. When? When are we going to... Okay, now, now we're in the clinical stage. We tested it, uh, we're testing it on, uh, um, on uh, cancer cells and on uh, small animals. So far we tested it on uh, mice. 
Next stage would be big animals and then humans. So, so no humans have been tested at no, this point? Not yet. Do you believe, uh, do you have a timeline on whether or not uh, uh, human testing might begin or maybe when the drug might be available? Okay, now, w when you say available, it's, it's complicated because, you know, it takes between seven and ten years to approve a drug. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about getting into the clinic because, you know, in cancer it's a different approach. When, you, when they say, even at a very preliminary stage, that it works, they start uh, giving it to more patients. They just include them in the clinical studies. So this is the case. I want to cure people. So when it gets to the clinical trials and everyone would see that it works and it works perfectly, then everyone would be able to enjoy it. So your bet is not too long uh, from, uh, from now? No, not too long. I mean, it's on the scale of, uh, of uh, years, maybe uh, one year if we get a lot of money. It all depends on the finance. If we get a lot of finance, then we can get it in one year and, and a bit. And if not, it would uh, take more time. Well, I certainly hope uh, the testing goes brilliantly well and that in one year this uh, truly remarkable uh, drug will be uh, made available. Doctor, Again, it's not one drug, it's a family of...